Sketch one cycle of the graph using amplitude, period, and the five major points. You must identify the x-coordinate of each major point. So let's say we have y equals negative sine of pi over 2x. So the first thing we're asked to do is find the amplitude. And that's found by looking at the number in front of the sine function, absolute value of that, so that is positive. So the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. The period is found by taking the original period of the function, which is sine, so 2 pi, divided by whatever is in front of x, which is positive, so we'll leave it as that, so pi over 2. If that had been negative, we would take the absolute value. So then rewriting this as multiplication of the reciprocal, so dividing by pi over 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 over pi. The pi's are going to cancel, leaving us with 4. So what I'm going to do is actually start my graph so I can figure out what the x and y coordinates are going to be. So I'm going to start with my x-axis. And then the y-axis will be on the far left. So starting at 0, the period is 4, so that means the cycle is going to go until 4. So then the five major points will be half, half, and half. Okay, so from our picture we can actually see that these are going by 1s. Another way that we could see that is that each of these intervals represents a quarter of the cycle. So if I wanted to find the x-coordinate values, we would take a quarter of the period, because each one is representing a quarter. So then a quarter of 4 tells you that you would go by 1s. Okay, so as you can see, that's what's happening. We're going by 1s. Now the y-coordinates are going to follow the pattern of sine, but notice this time that we have a negative in front. So this is going to be a reflection over the x-axis. So that negative is going to reflect over the x-axis. So that's going to reverse our pattern. So for the y-coordinates, we're still going to start with an x-intercept. But instead of going to a max, we're going to reverse and go to a min. Back to an x-intercept, <clears throat> x-intercept, and then back to, or going up to a max, and then ending back in an x-intercept. Okay, the min and max are determined by the amplitude, so the x-intercept is 0. The min is going to be a negative of the amplitude, which is 1. x-intercept is 0, max of 1, x-intercept is 0. So using that pattern, get our points in here. So I need to mark out where 1 is, which is actually pretty straightforward. So that's 1, and y that must also be 1. So we have an x-intercept followed by a min, x-intercept, max, x-intercept. 